pads is airways and blood groups. Uh, when all the equated, um, when all the correct gear gets added to the correct kits, uh, you sh all the crews shall notice certain things pop up in their inventory. These items will uh, are named Acuvac, AEDX series, Weedle Tube, King LT, Pulse Oximeter, Painkillers, and a Blood Groups cheat sheet. <coughs> These are all new items added through the mod, and of course the Blood Group Blood Times. Although through testing the blood groups, uh, uh, the blood does not allow you to give the wrong blood group to a person. Now, uh, if you, I remember where you can check your own shit. Uh, if you'd like to open up your own medical menu, collect your examined patient, and check dog tags, you'd then see when the dog tags appear, a new uh, your name, what you're a part of, and your blood group. Wow. Don't have a dog um, tag. It's actually the same blood group as I actually am. You do have dog tags. Okay. Alright, now it's, uh, it'll let me, it wouldn't let me do it a second ago. Yeah. It's the bottom two letters and or letter you'll find will be the blood group that is assigned to your character. Oh. A B. I just read yours as B. Okay. Must have left the door on board then. That's what I say, that's not even a blood group. One second, let me have a look, see. Doctor. Now it's now it says O. No, it's just B. No, you're B. Oh, it you're just right. fucking it just did oh, right. B. Right, your O. Yes, I know. I, I was do I was doing yours then, right? Not mine. Yes, yeah, you're doing that. Good job. You know how to do it anyway. Very good. Right, so you're uh, writing your uh, blood group thing. Yeah. Right. Medics will use this feature uh, when treating yourselves to find out your blood group, so they can correctly transfer your blood. As if you are an O type, if you don't have an O blood type, the wrong blood can kill you. Uh, in armor, I believe all it does is pretty much fucks you up, gives you blood vision. We want five, this is Walk It One. Be advised, your comms are somewhat unworkable. Uh -huh. Anyway, carry on. Like one yeah. out of five uh, quality. Without shooting one of you, I can't actually demonstrate anything. But uh, the basis you. of things. Uh, uh, eight one. Uh, we don't want five. Radio check again. Yeah. Radio check again. Okay, Roger, that's better. Out. Right. So uh, you also notice when someone is unconscious, if you select their head and. Uh, uh, if you're a medical menu, uh, the airway management actually works now. Uh, so when someone goes unconscious, uh, the procedures, uh, the procedures you go through, uh, the steps to do. Uh, eight two, uh, one five. Um, can you confirm did eight one get logged on? Okay. Yeah. Uh, one five. This is eight one message. Over. <laughs> oh, there you are. Send over. Okay. Uh, yeah, Roger that. Uh, right is my co-pilot. He is uh, a one over. <laughs> yeah, Roger. I'll just uh, mix up from my side. As long as you're all good at your end. Good stuff. Out. So yeah, so uh, so yeah, through the airway management tab in uh, the medical menu, uh, you'll notice uh, that like from work when someone goes unconscious. Uh, you'll also be able to check airways, uh, insert tubes and shit into the throats so and to maintain the airway and uh, you'll be able to uh, move the head about so that you can clear the airway. Uh, as in real life, if you find someone on the floor, necessarily you first have to put the recovery position. Uh, in armour, this is known as the roll head option through the airway management. After doing so, you check the air systems, do the examination. patient. Uh, if it's still obstructed, uh, obstructed, yeah, you know the word. Uh, you would then extend the head, and uh, if uh, the p if the patient had thrown up, you'd use the acuvac to suck the th puke out of their throat. Yes, it's a disgusting noise when it's used, so be advised for that. Along when you throw up, it's fucking disgusting. Hell yeah. Um, Question. Yep. In the RA management, is there an option to use an airbag to help them breathe if they're unconscious? Unfortunately, not. No. All right. I was just gonna. I was gonna ask if that does the same thing as CPR on someone's chest to help keep them alive longer. 
Yeah, so CPR would be used like, in armor to hold the death timer, as it doesn't actually add anything to it, it literally just holds it for a second. If you keep on doing it, it stops them from dying, so it makes them die a lot slower. Uh, but if you do do the procedure quick enough, uh, the acronym is literally the alphabet, so A, B, C, D, and E. Uh, this is the steps that you go through, so first you manage the railway. Technically, first you manage any major bleeds by applying tourniquets to the lens. Uh, but first off, most importantly, you manage in the railway. You make sure the other is clean, make sure they're not thrown up on themselves, blocked up their throat with the uh, puke going through the relevant steps that continue. What's happening to the, uh, the Dr. ABC? Actually? Dr. ABC. I haven't yeah. been told the Dr. ABC. Oh, fair enough. That's what I've been told. The Doctor it's ABC. Like, like not in this unit, but it's 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 way. just it's different with armor. You know, we've got to try and armorize it the best we can. This is a real life uh, convert in real life into being. Yeah. <laughs> You've gone really quiet, right? Yeah. He's for control tab because he was in Steam. No. I alt, uh, yeah, control, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, I know what you just said. Right, so yeah, uh, you manage the first. This is a... Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it's a brief explanation, I pretty much understand right, sorry, it. Jordan, right. yeah. you, you signed on day one, aren't you? A zero decimal one. Just in yeah. case. Yeah, just in case. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's literally an, ac an, ac an acronym that was given to me by Pavey, which is one that he uses in real life with him being in the RAMC. Uh, 8115, message over. Send your message over. Just a quick query. Um, can you remind me what is the rough duration of those uh, Puma's uh, flight times on the full tank? Over. I have absolutely zero clue for that one. At the very least, I know it lasts up. Um, Roger, when you get up, just hour. have a quick check for me. I can't remember. At the very least, I know it lasts about an hour. Over. Roger, uh, Joanna, just let me know that at least it lasts about an hour. Over. Roger, so it's not like the Apache used to be, and it doesn't bug out, does it? Is, or is it pretty solid at that? Over. The fuel I have solid. had it bug out sometimes. Yeah. Me and work have had it sometimes where it seems like it's guzzling fuel, but then again it could just be our perception of time going rather quickly. Never? That has been yeah, server three instead stuff. of Thank you. Yes, no. anyway. Server 3 was me setting you up and that was me making your fuel leak. Alright, anyway, go on. So yeah, you uh, dickhead. Yeah, so A, B, C, D, E <laughs> is a order and or uh, acronym list thing that uh, Pave has given me that he used in real life. So you're working on any major bleeds first, of course. So technically it would be M A B C D E. So you've got your major bleeds, putting tourniquets on limbs if they're bleeding, uh, to slow down and possibly stop their bleeds for them. Remember tourniquets are only to be applied for five minutes each time, otherwise they start causing pain and discomfort to the ear, or more pain and discomfort to the uh, patient. Uh, your next step is managing your airways, so you're gonna roll the head, check the airways again, make sure it's clear. If it's not clear, you're gonna use the uh, yaki vac to bring out any uh, puke that they've, you know brought up and is stuck in their throat, you will then add a Guidal or a King LT. These are both uh, apparatus used to maintain airways and will both be obstructed when th the Guidal will be obstructed when they throw up again, so it will block it up and render it useless. Uh, sometimes it has been known for it to maintain and keep on supporting their airways once they've thrown up and you've cleared it, so it was at the minute I don't know if it's buggy or what. Uh, but the King LT is it reaches to the lungs uh, directly, so when they throw up, it doesn't directly affect the King LT. But it's best to clean up the, like, you know, take the puke out of their throat, even if they do it, if you've, if you've inserted the King LT. Uh, so your next step would be maintaining circulation. So the moment we're just uh, going through the uh, medical in, refresher. In the so in the uh, uh, serviette. So we've and got the got PV used to be. Part of it, uh, part of it, sorry. He moved to pre-med, so he's, like uh, bought a new more pack in. Your drugs aren't like going to get anywhere. So, you've woken them up, you've given the fluids and everything that they need. Do you think we're supposed to get a, um, um, pre-med guy come across, rate. but I've got right, just running for it briefly. Uh, after so you've applied your drugs, they're awake. 
uh, and or still uh, unconscious at this time when the aircraft when, when the uh. birds come in to deliver them you move on to your evac stage if they're too unstable and you've gotten to a point where you can hold them and get the evac bird in to hand them off for you know the more well-equipped hospitals to deal with then you'd call the evac when doing drugs or if you're just able to hold them uh, that's that for that any questions nope what about the asex um vital stuff like so monitoring yeah. shit uh, right, the yes. monitoring stuff monitoring shit so uh who wants to be my test dummy i'm not going to shoot you don't worry <laughs> go on do your worst right lovely right pay attention you're gonna hear something i don't think we hear everything when you do it personally right can you all hear that beeping yeah. What have you done to him? Right, I have now started to monitor his vitals. If you'd all like to approach Smith and check his uh, ace menu, you should see in the quick view, every second, the thing is flashing, showing you his heart rate, his blood pressure, and his SBO2 levels. O2 is in oxygen. Uh, SBO2, yes, that's your blood saturation. Yeah. So, as you can see, his heart rate is actually lower than the rest of the heart rate. Uh, his blood pressure, also marked as RR here, which you know life stands for respiratory rate, but we believe it's a typo uh, in the mod. Uh, is lit one low, so he's fine. He, you know, breathing, he's not going to die. And his blood saturation level is R perfect at 100. You stopped my monitor. I think it stops automatically on its own. Yeah. Oh, Do you it still have it? Yeah, yeah we're going through that right. training. He was Analyzing just going that. about can just keep doing it again and again because it, it, for some reason, it just stops. Yeah. Yeah. If I remove the monitor, do I get the monitor in peace? <laughs> Not touching my monitor. <laughs> right. So you yeah, use this to understand uh, if the airways are blocked without checking the uh, without checking it through the wait long wait time. Naturally, when the uh, SpO2 levels start dropping, that is a natural sign of the airways being blocked, as you can't get any air to the bloods, and it's just because it. Dead. Uh, or you're a smoker. That too. I mean, your SP SPO2 level wouldn't drop until after smoking, but. You know, it'd be on medical records that you have on hand and stuff like that. But, his heart rate's fine, his blood pressure's fine, his SPO2 level is fine, we don't need to do anything. He's still awake, he's fine and dandy. So, when done, we're going to remove the monitors. We'll remove the monitor, beep it stops, and we're all fine and dandy. Wow. Quick note, when you do attach the monitoring to somebody, you will hear... Uh, wait, come here Smith, I can't know what it says exactly. Don't press the shock button. Uh, yeah, actually it doesn't... It, I think it... Does it I can't remember if it does it automatically. Mm. Yeah, Yeah. You'll so PV went to pre-med and uh, he changed now. a lot of stuff. And then no shock advised. You, we is, don't hear that. That's yeah, the same hear that. woman's that's voice on the actual real defibs. Yeah. And that's the... Uh, and that's, that's normally given when going into cardiac arrest. It will say, uh, monitoring now, shock advised. Then you'll go through your normal cardiac arrest drills and shock him back to life. But as it said, no shock advised, as we can tell. He's wide awake, perfectly fine. He's not dying on us. Oh, not yet. <laughs> yeah, I've still yet. got to get in a bird with Wick. Yeah. <laughs> we remove the monitor, all beeping stops, it's perfectly fine. Uh, the beeping does go with the heart rate, so if the heart rate increases, it goes Ooh. quicker, the heart rate decreases, it goes slower. Told me to then, do a lap. No, that's alright. And then if they don't have a heart rate, you get the standard beep. Rest in pepperonis. At that point, when you hear that, it's probably going to say shock advice anyway, so you'll shock him, give him all the blood they need, whatever, and just continue going through your standard drills. Any questions? Yeah, come. Sorry. Got that done. Um. But yeah. And any questions on anything? Nope, I'm good. Mm. Uh, Raj. Right, so the next thing, pretty much the only thing for me to do at the minute is to do a practical demonstration. But I'm not going to shoot any of you since those lot are watching above. <laughs> and I don't want them to come down blind. <laughs> Yeah, and start asking, oh, why are you shooting each other? Like, I'm supposed to shoot one of the, um, 
That's cool. Just keep all waking a lot of, of gear and shit off. Uh, they despawn and you ruin it. Oh. You have to wait till the server gets restarted. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Yeah, uh, we're not talking about how I know that. Oh, that good. was tasty. Alright, so if that's everything, everyone got any questions? Are we going to be carrying that medical on us today? Uh, unfortunately no, it's not been added to the kits. Um, if it's implemented and in game, it's not worth us grabbing it. Because we basically, we can't do much medical wise. It actually well, is a good point, isn't it? Yeah. For crew to grab it. Right. Uh, Myth, you are, a pot, you are going to be a crew, correct? I Smith will eventually. Yeah. Roger, right. Mr. K and J, follow me. K, J. J, K. Moscow, where are you? He's in the uh, briefing area. <laughs> oh, there's some popping. Ooh. Is there any reason to be in there right now? Ask. Like, are we doing something? No. Yes. Uh, if I can in the office. Yeah, I mean. There he is. There he is. That's not you stuck behind there, is it, Muscat? I'm gonna get a clearance on this frickin' buffer. Mm. Oh, ouch. What is that popping? Uh, 1 5, this is 8 1, message over. So yeah, anyway, we're back to stream guys, like I said, um, so this one is... <laughs> unfortunately, I'm flying, I'm not actually in charge of the gun, so, uh, unfortunately, I can't shoot anyone. So, <laughs> uh, it was a recruit Pearly, Let's see where he is, uh, hammer cam, Pearly, Pearly, baby, no... Here he is. Uh, he's in a vehicle. Ah, okay. Yeah, he's in a vehicle. I uh, can't seem to find him at the moment. So he's 228. Uh, so let's see where 228 is. Uh, two... He's around about here. He's here somewhere. Oh, thank you very much for the follow, uh, Min Man Cam. <laughs> uh, he is somewhere in uh, the camp. Uh, so he's 228, I believe it is. Uh, so he is. It says he's in a brick. Thank you. Thank you ever so much for the follow, guys. Thank you ever so much. Um, yeah, so thank you very much, uh, Minuteman Cam, uh, up until dawn and Tom, Tom Basis, Do, Tom, sorry, I'm just going to your name, but thank you very much for the follow. Uh, yeah, so he's 228, uh, trying to get hold on 1-5, uh, well, what, goodness me, uh, 1-5, this is 8-2, uh, 8-1, message over. Hello, 8-1, this is 1-5, send over. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a clarification on the buffer. Is it a corridor for a GHC? Over. Uh, uh, no, negative. The buffer is not for GHC. Yeah, negative. Yeah, I'll receive. <laughs> yeah, I'll receive. A one out. Uh, so yeah. Uh... What is he doing, right? What's up? What is right doing? Uh, I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's going through uh, medical because there's a medical mod change. So we have that. They've got like all sorts of. What is that popping? The heck yeah. is that popping? Uh, yeah. So basically, he's got new. Uh, we got new mods and everything like that. Must get so. Uh, yeah. So he is two to eight. Uh, which means. Uh, all stations, this is 1-5, signing off for 60 seconds, something's going on downstairs, I'll drive back out. Uh, what is that popping? Oh my goodness me, that's going to become highly annoying. 
I have a feeling that's someone Oi. actually in Teespeak. What the fuck is that? Yeah, what is that? Who is popping? Uh, let me find out. It's right. Uh, right. Yes. Uh, for some reason, uh, you're popping. We're in. Uh, your microphone's popping. Did you get any call from HQ? Uh, what was that, Mosca? If you get any call from HQ. No, uh, nothing yet from HQ. We just went through the medical menu. Uh, so, we got nothing from HQ at the moment. We'll get up and fly in a minute. We'll just do some laps. That is going to become highly annoying. Uh, yeah, so he's 228. So he is 28. Yeah, uh, right, you are literally crackling up. Am I? Yeah, you really are. Like, me and Muscat can hear it uh, from here. Du, du, du. <laughs> I don't know if it's your mic or something. Uh, it's just you guys. Possibly an audio book because we're in the hangar. Yeah, watch that. Yeah, so he's to a. I'm gonna move away a minute. <laughs> Get away from that. Uh, yeah, so uh, Pearly is one of your friends, so yeah, he's 2 8, so he is amongst this. 2 3, 2 1. There is no other anyone out. No, there's none. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's see if I can get him up on thing. One no. five signing back in on uh, is there just my one hand? All right. So right. Um, everyone got their gear in that lot. <laughs> That's I'm just touching up now. Yeah, Roger. Uh, when you're done, we'll get up line. Do, 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 do. So, uh, Muscat, mm -hmm. oh. uh, we'll be going in a clockwise direction around the orange, okay? The buffer, the blue zone is not for GHE. It's not? It's not for GHE, yeah. So, basically, Everyone. basically, yeah, we're literally, we're just following the orange corridor, dude. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, I don't know. That's why. <laughs> so, <laughs> I get told, <sighs> and they go. I know, dude. I tried to get you a walk up, but they said no. Mm. Yeah, so I don't know where it probably is. Uh, let me just check my couple of sentences here. Let me show that. Uh, shadows, picture in picture, standard. Let's see if that works. No, okay, so he is in a vehicle, I believe, or he's taking his helmet cannon off. What are they uh, let me know when they're all so sorted right. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Yeah, roger. Right, Alright, let's get up, let's get up flying, shall we? What? Let's get up flying. <laughs> uh, 8283, this is 81. Uh, you are cleared to take off following the orange corridor in a clockwise pattern, over. Uh, roger that, 81. Uh, we're just going to be trying to set our power radio, see if they work properly. Right, we're all done. Yeah, roger that. Okay, uh, let's jump on the bird. A3 is pulling up. Oh, my goodness me. Where's your helmet now? Yeah. Sorting it now. Mm -hmm. I was too close to the bird. Mm -hmm. Uh, Alright, switching to come. Mm -hmm. Okay, pilot on crew. Mm -hmm. uh, right on crew. Smith, you on crew? Uh, intercom, dude. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, press your Windows key, switch uh, intercom to crew. Mm -hmm. I Roger, I forgot, Smith, you're quite new, aren't you? <laughs> I, keep yeah. I keep getting you and the other Smith mixed up. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna load up my map. A3 is ready. 
Da, da, you da, are cleared to take off in the clockwise pattern and whenever you like. Over. Mm. Roger that, it's really taking straight off from the runway. Flying clockwise in the area. Over. Ready to check AZU decimal 1 for Warlock A3. Oh, that's nice. We've been giving corridors into the camp and ground it coming across HQ. Oh, yeah, nice. Uh, da, 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 da. Na, the sea tab stuff only works. Um, if you're in a park or party, right? Uh, you can load. You have a seat up, you? You can yeah, you can load up the seat tab. It's just the pilot and co-pilot have special seat tabs. They have the bird navigation system. Really oh, okay. check on eight zero decimal one for lock eight three. Are you at Eight three. This is eight one. Uh, ready to check okay, over. Uh, last call sign. This is uh, one five cent. Again over. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna switch my backpack off. Is that in the bird comes active? Yeah. <laughs> is uh, who's airborne? Is it both of them? Look at your left. Not where he is. Uh, yeah, both of them. Well, actually, no, one of them. Uh, Roger. Uh, eight one spoiling. Alright, contact. Contact, wait out! What? Don't worry, it's just something that's going on with me. <laughs> 8 2 signing on, 8 0 decimal 2. 8 8 2, uh, this is 8 1, message. 8 1, this is 8 2, send message. Uh, yeah, I read you 5 by 5, uh, you're clear to lift and follow the corridors in a clockwise pattern, over. No, I was gonna hit you safe. I'm sorry, I won't, uh, A2L. Yeah, I know, sorry. <laughs> Liberation, I'll barricade. Start off all way communication with a hello then. Yeah. Well, this is. Uh, yeah, we're meant to go. Hello. The so and so, this is. This is why I like to put a PRI, you can fucking bong it. <laughs> no one cares. I don't, I don't normally do it properly anyway, I just go call sign, no, this is call sign, We're message over. <laughs> but then again, I did comp for two deployments. So. Uh, right, do you want to say to 15 that all airframes will be lifting and going in a clockwise van? Roger. Hello. Hello. Who's that? <laughs> I'm just trying to peek out the side of the aircraft. I managed to get myself so my head's sticking outside. Oh, Are nice. you doing head tracking? Yeah, track her out, yeah. <laughs> so, Smith, you're a pilot in real life? Yeah. Nice. Had a brain fart then. I forgot who I was contacting who I was. Uh, A1 right. into an active. One lifting from active, departing to the east. You're up. Okay, 11 clay, 11 is uh, yeah, 11 k to first earning. Yeah, boy. I'm gonna find out what the sign is. You keep saying it, I can find out already. It's stuck in my head. So, Smith, what helicopter do you fly in real life? Uh, R44 currently. Uh, which is. Robinson 44. It's 
relatively small aircraft. I'm working oh, towards okay. getting my <laughs> I'm just working towards getting my CPLH and um terrain and all that sort of shit. Oh nice. Um, I'm still questioning though whether I go the uh, military route or the civil route because I want to basically end up flying search and rescue for, with Bristow. Um, there's plus and minus it's both routes, I guess. Yeah, it'd be really cool. Yeah, so I'm used to flying relatively small things can compare to a fucking Puma, but hey. <laughs> Have you got 3 to 1 5 yet? Hey, what is A2 message over? Uh, I sent you a message, A2. Hey, one, uh, did you just hit me on uh, A0 to small one over? Uh, that's a negative, I'm not on that uh, comms at the moment. Uh, my co pilot is over. Uh, did you hear A1 on the radio? Okay, one, um, we yeah, are right. my, my A2, sorry. Some problems getting his radio, so, I'm, so I'm, I'm trying to see if I can get mine sorted. I just transmitted uh, on A0 to small one, I've got no response, so. Uh, yeah, roger that, E2. Uh, I just spoke to my co pilot, he didn't hear you, so uh, maybe I'm not yeah, sure what's going on. What was that? Roger that, E2 lifting off runway 09. Hang on, say again, right, sorry, I had comms. That was the one on the last one, I was trying to find the one in the walk circle or more. Say again, E3. Yeah, I need one, are we separated? Are we separated? Is so only one circle or more? Over. I can't hear A3. Uh, wait, one A3, I'll get back to you in one mic over. Mm -hmm. Got good I didn't turn my scan up. Actually, let's turn the comms up. Uh, now I just want to pass over, uh, over A1 that we have a platoon, oh, yeah, no, yeah, A0 decimal 2, sorry. Go that on. we'll be having a platoon movement, so all three aircraft will be in use. Yeah, Roger. Okay, uh, 8283, message over. Send message over. Uh, we just had word that we'll be having a platoon movement, all three, uh, three aircraft will be required over. Right, true, coming, coming. Right, oh, I found it. Oh my god, I found it. <laughs> Two clicks. Do you have any idea where from? Uh, not, not this time ever. Mm -hmm. Uh, do we know where from? Like, it's just been told that we'll have one soon. Yeah, uh, just been heard from my co. Uh, basically, we haven't been told uh, where or when yet. Uh, just been told to stand by over. Yeah, current speed is one two. We'll be turning right to go downwind over. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're over there. Okay. Okay, turning right. This is like some fat circuit over right here. A2, this is A1, message over. A1, this is A2, uh, it's a message over. Uh, just uh, getting an update on your comms, over. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, my my crew hears the beeps but can't uh, hear anything else. Uh, we can transmit, I believe, but uh, that's uh, over. Yeah, Roger, is he uh, running his uh, team speak in, in admin? He's not got push to work on, he doesn't need to. Uh, yeah, A1, I've just confirmed him that he's uh, tried running TS, both as admin and both uh, not, and uh, he's still getting the same problem. How do you use that? Uh, he's still getting the same problem. Yeah, roger that. Uh, if you need a number of bird, uh, send, send him down, just let me know, over. Uh, 
Yeah, all you got to do is just do it that way. Yeah, I don't think the birds are problem. Okay, if you put that, I've just forgotten the word. Uh, uh, that's fine. I'll just no, so, uh, no help. Yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna be on the uh, <laughs> on the Asia this morning anyway. I've so. just forgotten the song that I was doing. Did, 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 yeah, did, Roger two, uh, did, 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 did. E2, E1 out. Well, I've just found another one. Right, so I'll click to the next turn to speed up a bit. Okay, it looks like we will be flying through the bumper there. What's the deal with the self fire zone then? So basically, because where you went, we can't fly over the mainland. Because it seems it will seem like a show of force against the opposing government faction. As we've been brought in by the by the, the main government fact, like by but the other government will be like, oh, you could sh sh show a force, pew, 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 and start a war. We're here to stop that from happening because we're the United Nations and we're addicted. We do nothing but sit our asses and go, oh look, there's an armored vehicle, and people that I really want to shoot up the car. <laughs> You and people recently got tried because they basically watch some Syrian rebels set up an ambush um, for some forces belonging to Assad, and they basically all Assad's force all got slotted. That's why so I like you went. <laughs> Just because they can't do anything, I know it's not their fault, but because of their job, I hate them. Yeah, well, do what, do you, what do you mean by the hate the UN? Do you hate people sort of pushed on points to the UN, or like the body itself? I just hate the fucking UN. They can't do anything. I, literally, that's the point of why I hate the UN. They can sit there and see something happen that will kill millions of people. Or hundreds of people, or... That was a li League of Nations. It's just... Yeah. All I want is for people to go, uh, oh, they're gonna kill us! Phew. No, oh, you're gonna kill us! No one's gonna be alive. They can't do anything. Like, they can sit there like, look, you can see them planning an ambush to kill people. Just. Yeah, you're more you observers, to be honest. It's like, would you or would you not, if you saw someone setting up an ambush to kill some of your friendly forces? Yeah, but it's, it's depends on what's friendly or not, though. Like, technically, in the Syrian stuff, Assad's forces aren't only really friendly. What forces? Basically, Syrian rebels setting up an ambush for Assad's forces. Oh, fuck that. I mean, like, British people. You know what I mean? No. Uh, if you're gonna like just like like someone kill like kill like hundreds of like British or American soldiers, like proper NATO forces, like what's the point? Like, what's the point of being a, a, like, an armed force if you're not? That's gonna not really happened though, really. I know, but they don't do fuck all. They're just uh, they're glorified they, armed forces. Literally, they, the they're armed. quite useful when you want to invade a country, but you want to make sure it's not just American invading the country. <laughs> Bring the Middle Eastern countries we go and made Iraq. No, the Americans have got some fucking plutonium, uranium fuel fucking Abrams in there. Fuck them. Um. Yeah, send in the radiated fucking Abrams tanks with the depleted uranium armor. Why not? That's the only thing I like about the Abrams. One, it's a cool, it looks cool, and two, it's got depleted uranium armor. <laughs> and thank the fucking British for that. Yeah. Uh, have you got clever scientists? <laughs> but the, the, okay, the making the turn. The can be so gay, but can also be really cool. <laughs> the only problem with uh, flying with the sea tab is you can't freaking see the turning down here. Yeah, it's pretty shit. I can. Okay, <laughs> I'm just in my map a second. Okay.
How do you want to separate um, aircraft flown you in buffer zone by altitude or you can try? Because if they're going from east to west, back and forth, that's going to be quite a. Uh... It's really thin, so you can only fit in one at a time, so it's going to be trail. Yeah, but say, you, yeah, but when they turn back around, though, if you say, push, if you push east, you're at X meters, and if you push west, you're at X meters, hopefully that should make life a little bit easier. Yeah, Actually, never mind. It, it'll be my trail and altitude, so I wouldn't worry. So it'll be first person's the lowest, second person's a bit higher, third person's even higher. Just to stop any form of washout and stuff like that. I wish I had my pet, I wish I had my shunic back. Three clicks to turning. We're gonna go all the way around then? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> no. I was told that we're not allowed in the buffer zone. Yeah, well, that's the only way we're going to get to the other thing, isn't it? Oh my god, Dryden. Okay, one click to turning. Roger. Beginning right turn now. Okay, in the pipe. We need to get there ASAP, so right. Get okay, where? Do a switch. Steel. Oh, I, I can't hear a one. Uh, a zero decimal one, sorry. No, mm -hmm. right, right, we're doing a platoon move, uh, flying along the buffer zone uh, until someone's, something's been spotted, uh, which the platoon commander would then advise a safe, ATO, a safe LZ for it to land at one of the designated uh, uh, section bases. Okay, so what's our current task in? Uh, to pick up uh, our max amount of packs from one platoon at HLS Steel. Roger that. Uh, we are going to uh, one one aircraft in at a time, uh, and we need to get there ASAP. So uh, eight back, back one away, doing U-turn over. Yeah, I've got the aircraft in the side. Flight one, uh, eight two will be uh, just off the uh, corridor. Yeah, another aircraft no, one two four for fourteen yeah. kilometers. So you should be fine. A1 is now anti clockwise in the corridor. A3 is now anti clockwise in the corridor. No, it's advised one, one minute out. Yeah, Roger. Right, uh, be advised you've got A2. On the far corner. Uh, the one where we're heading, yeah? No, the one after that. Uh, Roger. Oh, I got a yellow bar. Mm -hmm. Making yellow left, track. making left turn now. Roger, I've got yellow chain as well. Indeed there is. Uh, A2, advise location over. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Roger that. This is a one two eight two and a three. We are three point four from corridor to HLS Steel Weaver. Mm -hmm. Roger that. A one. Uh, we're just uh, still going. Uh, Put in hover. Uh, from this corridor. Yeah, so we're uh, frozen. Yeah, Roger. So I can guarantee you, there's going to be a collision somewhere when we get back to life. There you go, Okay, what were you saying? No message received. I'm still uh, up around. Up. Uh, be advised, all aircraft A1 is currently stationary due to no connection signal, whatever. I have still come out. I've got A1, A2 is coming out. Yellow chain. I've got no message. Uh, hovering and uh, uh, trying to hold slash gain altitude. Holy shit, I can't believe it's joining. Yeah, roger that. I uh, suggest everyone hover. Uh, the server might go down. Here. Uh, looks like a lot of people are disconnecting from uh, TS. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're currently in the stable hover. A2 is That's good, uh, that What was this, man? Oh, I got no issue to see it, fuck. Yeah. Not bad then. That's a good start, do you think? Good start to the evening, baby. Good start to the evening. So it's gone down twice already. Uh, a two and eight three. You still getting their message received, over? I've got. I've still got yellow I've chain. That's it. But I think we've lost. We've lost Dryden at least. I can't hear Moscow. Yeah, Roger. Uh, I think I've lost my co pilot as well. Uh, yeah, Roger that. We, it's just uh, us three left, I believe. Uh, Wick, Niles, and Muscat left in Halle, so. Yeah, Roger, I suggest uh, DC in at this uh, time, uh, due to the server, looks like it's going to be broken. Roger that. Yeah, Roger, Muscat. Yeah, uh, Muscat, everyone is pretty much DC'd, HQ is even uh, DC'd as well. Mm -hmm. A lot more fun than what it would have been. Uh, what was the dodo? I forgot what the dodos were. Is, oh, is this hey, Howard. Can I just say Try them. Yeah, let's go. Do you have an air gunnery course? Mm, so no, it's not that. I don't have the air gunnery course. Behind right, behind I was just listening to that because I literally just wrote dodo dodo. Must be that none of the infantry <laughs> have the air gunnery course. Sounds like their problem then. Yeah, what was it? Wait, uh, so 
Niles, or Howard, I was discussing with Moscow actually didn't uh, want a gunner who would be appropriate to sit on the gun when we're picking people up. I was thinking either Corporal.